is uh, Keith Twyman from the UK. I've just finished Kurt Thompson's uh, 16 week upper register course. Uh, that was a Charles Colin uh, lip flexibility exercise that many of you will probably recognize, page 38 I think. And uh, it goes up to high E. Uh, what you guys won't uh, know is that uh, 17 days ago I had an operation to remove my gallbladder so I'm supposed to be taking it easy so let's hope the surgeon's not watching this um, but you know it just shows you that 17 days after surgery you know applying Kurt's techniques I'm still back up to high ease you know um, which is a result um, you know the impact of the surgery which was done by keyhole surgery has has been um, inconvenient I suppose but um, you know the effects have been minimal and it's coming back. Uh, the other thing you don't know is that uh, as a young player uh, in my teens you know I, I like to think I was fairly good in my area I suppose worldwide you, you probably weren't but um, you know I played principal cornet of a local band and did all my exams and stood up and did solos all the usual stuff um, and dreamt, like many young people, of being a professional player. Um, and in that process, my teacher at the time thought it would be good to change my embouchure. And really, that was the end of me as a professional player. You know, so prior to starting Kurt's course, I've been spending most of my um, playing life as an amateur, um, enjoying my music, but you know, on the back bench, doing all the filling stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, uh, you know, I was limited to probably um, high G, G on top of the stave, for those who um, don't know Kurt's terminology, high G, and, um, you know, with a bit of loss of um, stamina, probably around E's and F's on the stave were comfortable for me. Well, you know, prior to surgery, 17 days ago, I was, um, on some of Kurt's exercises, managing to get... Um, high F's and double F sharps. I have to get my terminology right because Kurt will tell me off. Um, so yeah, double F sharps. Wow, that's a whole octave higher than what I was playing you know, 16 weeks ago. And okay, that may drop off with stamina, um, which is improving all the time by the way. Um, but it kind of gives me a useful range. You know, I'm back up to you know high C's, which most British brass band stuff doesn't go much above high C, so it's kind of opened up a whole new world to me, which I'm looking forward to over the next you know, months and years, hopefully, to, to um, using. Um, you know, one of the things um, that also has, has Kurt's taught me, and I, and I don't know why, you know, I was never taught it as a youngster, and I, I've never really investigated it, and that's the use of pedal tones. Many of you out there will know about pedal tones. But you know, wow, you know, if you're talking about extended range, I can now play down into the pedal tones, which is hopefully what I just demonstrated. Um, and, you know, I've, I've never done that. So although they're not classed as the, the actual natural notes of the instrument, you know, I've probably put another two octaves on my range into the pedal note um, area. And of course, Kurt um, has broken this down into five tiers. He calls it the five tiers of his pedal tones. You know, I've got two main points I think I'd like to make about Kurt's course. Firstly, if, if you suffer from embouchure problems, high range, if you need high range, or perhaps if you just need good stamina on, on your normal range, then you know this course is for you. It really is. You know, I've had lessons over the years um, some, for some really good players, I mean really good, and some named players in actual fact. Um, but none of them, and I can say none of them, have had the immediate effect that Kurt has, has um, had on me. I mean, it was, it's amazing, it really is. You know, to meet a player who can actually mimic your playing and then tell you what you're doing wrong, is a very very rare thing trust me you know I've been there and done that one many times is uh, a very clever man secondly you know if you're not any of that you're a fairly good player fairly good stamina but you're a teacher then you might want to consider this course from an educational point of view because for me it's been 
mind blowing. Some of the things I've learned from Kurt over the last 16 weeks. It might improve your teaching, your understanding of brass playing, it certainly has mine, and the processes involved, and actually taking part in the process teaches you a lot as well. Uh, I, you know, I really do think it's for you as well. Plenty of good players out there, but not all the good teachers, you know, we all know that. And trust me, I've been down that road as well. I'm an educationist myself. I mean, I, I did a master's degree at the um, Institute of Education in Russell Square in London a few years ago now. But, you know, I've got no hesitation at all in uh, endorsing Kurt's course. I know loads of people have done it before. He's, he's got loads of people who endorse his stuff on uh, YouTube. But, you know, I'd just like to add my name to that long list. Uh, your embouchure, your tongue, your lungs, your body, you know, you're going to be attacked from all angles, and I mean that literally. It, it's fascinating. Uh, you'll get a lot of insight as well into techniques that other players have used over the years. You know, I mean, there's a whole list of them. And again, I don't know why, but I'm don't I don't necessarily uh, know anything about these. I, I've I've heard names, and I've I've not I like to think I was a bit of a brass expert, but you know, having done this course now, you you realise just how little you do know. You know, techniques by Gordon, um, Stevens Costello. I'm trying to remember all the names now. Bill Adams, Cat Anderson, Doc Reinhardt, Charles Charles um, Colin, Bud Brisboyd. I think I said that right. Um, of course, Doc Severinsen, Bill Chase. Uh, I know May, um, Maynard Ferguson, there's a lot of stuff that Kurt does with that because he likes his melodic, melodic style, certainly in the high range. You know, how, how many players do we hear just screech notes out where it's actually play up there and play in a melodic way is a rare thing as well. And of course Kurt's um, own twist on those techniques and his own techniques. You know, just, I've already mentioned one and that's the pedal tones and the five tiers. I don't think you'll find anybody else has broken down pedal tones into five tiers. You know, many out of you out there will um, probably want to explore these techniques further, but you know, and trust me, you end up with 75 techniques and you're doing those every day, so you know, you, you'll be working hard. Um, some of you academics out there, you might want to think about doing this course for you know, a thesis or a doctorate. There's a lot of material in there to think about. I'm serious. So a big thank you to Kurt. I mean that, Kurt. Thank you. This has been a life changer for me. The course is great. I've enjoyed it. Okay, it was messed up at the end with my surgery, but that was nobody's fault. Um, if you out there are a brass player, you want to improve, this is for you. It really is. In my opinion, you know, Kurt is trustworthy if you're worried about that because he's on the internet and you've never met him, blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, he's reliable. Um, but you know he expects you to work. It's not a holiday, you know, and you won't you won't go through the pro process that he talks about unless you work. Um, you, know, you need to experience the process. You know, your money is safe if you're worried about that. Um, and of course, you can always book a consultation with him if you go on his website and um, have a talk about you know what you want to get from the course where you're at, what you're trying to do, you know, all the concerns you might have, etc. You know, he listens. Okay, so best wishes to you all. Um, thank you again, Kurt, and I'll speak to you some other time. Bye then, or as Kurt would say, bye baby. That's that, isn't it?